Good morning. It's Words of Wisdom Wednesday, and I'm so excited to be back here with you today on another week. Our word of the week is admire. And I had to stop and think before I started the video on who would I say that I admire. I look around the building and there are so many different people that do so many different things, especially here at a small school, that sometimes we take for granted for that. But I'm going to go out on a stretch and I'm going to say that I admire the teachers that are in your classroom. They have a very hard boss. They know this. The boss knows this. But yet they still keep on keeping on and they try to do anything that is asked of them. May not always be perfect, but neither is their boss. And perfection is not what we're striving for. We're striving for, are we better than we were yesterday? Are we doing what's best for our kids? Do we know what our end goal is? The same can apply to you sitting in the classroom. Do you have a goal? What is your goal? What are you doing to strive for that goal? Whether it be your reading level, whether it be your next um, exam grade, whether it be can you get through physics, you know? There's so many things that I hear in the hallway and I just want you to know that your teachers are working their tails to the bone so that you can have what you need. Now, another thing is to keep a positive attitude. No matter where I go, whether it be a football game, whether it be um, a pep rally, whether it be volleyball, whether it just be to the teacher's lounge, or whether it be walking in the hallway with you and, and seeing you at lunch. Okay, yeah, we get tired. Everybody does. And yes, our attitude does stink sometimes during those times. But we can't always necessarily live there. Otherwise, it leads for a very miserable life. So, I see some of you that the teachers look to as leaders and we are not necessarily leading the way we should. Okay, so don't let senioritis get you. Hint, hint. Don't let uh, something that's happened in class get you down. Go talk to your teachers, okay? You don't like your grade, go talk to them. They're, they don't bite. I can tell you, they don't bite. All right? You got to stand up for you and you got to do what's best for you. If life isn't on the trail that you want it to be on, then you're the one that has to fix it. Trust me. I know. The other thing I want to tell you that is super excited is the book fair. I've been over there a couple of different times and man, you are buying the books, which is great because that means that you have more things to practice reading with. All right. I've even seen a couple of posters come out from the high school kids. It's all for a good cause. We'll have this book fair and then we'll have another one in the spring. So if you don't see your book that you want this time, we'll have another opportunity. But keep visiting the book fair and make sure that you're getting something that is good for you. Football game behavior. Don't forget that while the big guys are playing football, the little guys are supposed to be watching them and learning from their example, not necessarily playing and roughhousing behind the stands. Now, with the words of wisdom, this is Miss Morris. All I want you to do is just keep on keeping on. And it's okay to have a bad day, but don't live there. Come find help. Ask your teachers for help. Okay, that's not a sign of weakness. That's a sign of we, we know you want to improve. Okay, so have a wonderful Wednesday, and I will see you in the hallways.